Alright, hello, hello, and welcome back for another Wednesday night squad ops operation. I'm going to be Clearman Time, your cameraman and commentator uh, for the Operation Night, Violent Valentine. Hopefully your Valentine is not going to be so violent as tonight's, but, you know, things happen. No, seriously, hopefully it doesn't. Anyways, moving on away from that, in in two commands, we will be rolling for the first round with the Russian side being expert for command. And I swear if my mic falls off again. All right, well, I just had to reattach my mic to my desk. Been having issues. Anyways, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, command for the Russian side will be Expit, with two ice being Utopian, his two other SLs being Alpha Guido and Matt Honjo. For the US side, we have Command being Londarts, with two IC being DJ Russ, and his two other SLs being Beef and Zaki 2. Uh, actually, why did I say Zaki 2? It's just Zaki. All right. And for the loadouts, we'll be going over the Russians first. They've got a slew of different loadouts. First one we'll be going over is going to be the flower loadout. For the infantry flower squad, it's going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. Platoon armory consists of four RPG-6s and two MMGs and four engineers. Uh, they should not have any ammo bearers. It looks like that was a last minute change. Uh, moving to the... Uh, next loadout that they can choose from, which is going to be the candy loadout. Uh, we have one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, two LATs, and one medic. Platoon armory consists of two RPG 26s and two engineers. Uh, let's see here, is there anything else? Ah, oh, yes, candy also gets three MTLB NSVTs and one trans truck. No BTR 80, that one's been crossed out. Okay, that one was before. And. Yeah, no support. Moving on to the last loadout they can have for tonight, which is going to be the Diamonds loadout. Uh, it's going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one Medic. And uh, Platoon Armory just has crewmen as needed for operating their one BTR-80 and two Tigger open top cords and two trans trucks. Uh, looks like they also have nothing for support. So. And... Lastly, we'll move on over to the U.S. side, which just has a standard assortment with two different options. If I can find my... there it is. For the U.S. side, it's going to be infantry squad levels, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, and one medic. For the Cupid's Arrows option uh, for the platoon armory, they get four lats, two hats. For the Broken Hearts option, on the other hand... Uh, they will get four engineers and four lats and two riflemen with ammo bags and two MMGs. Uh, fob and logistics is a radio fob and sandbags. With that out of the way, we'll uh, let's go over to the op map real fast. And then I will bring you all in and we'll be all clear on this fun jazz. Uh, as you can see by the op map, there is one particular zone. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, all right. And it sounds like the uh, Russian side will be choosing the candy option tonight. Uh, back to what I was talking about with the op map. We can see there are three starting locations for the uh, Russian forces. At least I think those are starting locations. I could be wrong on that. Why do I never read the op doc? Where is it? Uh, that's U.S. before live. Ah, yes. Here we go. Uh, Russians. Okay, so the three options on the map uh, that are marked red are the... Uh, if Russia chooses platoon type flowers, uh, they move to one or all squads to each of the three garden locations, which are located in uh, Delta 422, Foxtrot uh, 647, and Foxtrot 717. Uh, and then that yellow zone in the middle is where the U.S. forces will be stationed in. 
Yes, I believe that's correct. Yes, that'll be the neighborhood that the U.S. forces will be located. Anyways, uh, I will now bring you all in. We can listen to, uh, well, the commands do their weird things while I fix my mic. Is that it? We got everybody? Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to Squad Ops tonight. One life operation. Uh, here's the basic plan uh, in case all the leadership dies. And so you guys can know, note that this plan didn't work and not to use it. Uh, first part is the move to the ORP, which is going to be all three squads mounted up in MTLBs crossing north of the Narva Castle and dismounting uh, around the train station area in Fox 5-8. From there, all three squads will proceed on foot, clear out different sectors. Uh, once those sectors are clear, we're going to move up the MTLBs in base of fire positions. Uh, squad 1, uh, Utopian squad, is going to set up their MTLB in the northwest corner of that compound. And the arrow represents the sector of fire, the area which they're supposed to watch. Uh, if you see contact, put fire on it immediately. Squad 2 is going to set up on the bridge with the, the two mark there. And their, their main point of uh, sector fire is going to be anywhere from the train cars to that uh, two-story building. And Squad 3's MTLB is going to be on the other side of the bridge, uh, watching the two-story buildings to the south-southwest. Once all, MT all three MTLBs are in position and we establish that there is no flanking U.S. element to the south, uh, we're going to do base of fire. All three MTLBs are going to suppress targets and uh, their sectors of fire. Squads 1 and 2 are going to bounce out of the Fox 5-4 area, marked here, and they're going to go south move south along the railroad tracks and defilade and assault to that two-story building there in Delta 533 marked with the Squad 2 arrow head. Once they establish and meet contact in the village, uh, we're going to lift fire and then Squad 3, which is was held in reserve, will then join them and Squads 1 and 2 will then bounce house to house, uh, searching for the FOB radio. Our objective is to find the FOB and dig it down. Uh, Every squad has an MTLB in direct comms in your squad comms. So if you have contacts and you need the MTLB once you once we get on the fence to go ahead and try to pin them through the uh, the walls, uh, move your MTLBs to positions in which they can do that. Um, if if area if all the contact is remaining in the village is in the interior, then the MTLBs are free to move up into the village, and um, you can dismount or continue to use the MTLBs as necessary. Uh, they are targets, so. Don't stand close to them. Um, lat shots are more likely going to be raining out on them, um, and they are pretty weak. Uh, that's basic plan. We're all assaulting from the same direction. Any questions? And we have just started the first round. Sling some leg, boys. Hello. Hello. Which drive driver? Driver. Driver. Yeah. Drive, drive. Okay. <laughs> Starting off fantastically, it looks like the first MTLB uh, did not manage to start his engine on time. Am I the only one who feels like the uh, vehicle audio seems a bit too loud? Squad to this command. 
All right, when I get a chance, I will adjust that so we can actually make out things. Squad 2, go ahead and clear the sector north of the, uh, the northern MTLB mark, those two-story buildings overlooking the lake. Wait, say again, overlooking the lake in Echo 4? Okay. I'm confused. I'm stuck in the hangar. We are, yeah, we're in lake. Getting into the echo <laughs> yeah, five lake. That's possible. Bravo, me. Get security in this corner. Copy. Looking south, west, west. Squad three, go ahead and proceed to Fox five four. Those compounds. And go ahead and set up. It does look like they've done something different with the stencil. Um, I mentioned this last okay. Wednesday. Squad one, this is command. It looks like the stencils for. Uh, Squad one, go ahead and proceed Whatever team spectating starts and, working uh, lay low in the Fox slowly because uh, almost everyone Copy. on the field right now has a stencil on them. Actually, it looks like right, everyone so except for the people in the vehicles. Hold up until the infantry sweeps the area. So that's kind of cool. Makes it easier for us to uh, figure out distance-wise from the camera where everyone is instead of having to guess it off the uh, size and positioning of the name tags. Sadly, it looks like it only works for the uh, team you're spectating, because the U.S. side is still just named X. Yeah, all MTLBs should be stopped and engine off at this time. I am pretty sure the U.S. force is at this point. Let's see here. MTLB's yeah, I am pretty sure Phoenix has probably time. already heard the MTLBs. Yeah, I know. I was having mine move up to three's position and then engine off. Ooh, Bartok. I'm gonna sit here for right, a minute to see command. if the U.S. pops out. Go ahead, three. Let's contact at Echo 686 multi-story building. And they just called out the building right, for... Three. Lawndarts. Why don't you go ahead and pass those or Bar locations Bar Bartok, not your driver and your MTLB so when they move up, they know exactly And Bartok out at. for the shot. And it is a good hit on one of the MTLBs. My MTLB just took a hit from the south. That's exactly why I didn't want them moving up. Atta boy! Shut up. Once again, I'm sorry, I couldn't say anything else. make sure those they, contacts they, they are now told us communicated to your gunner drivers so that when they move up, they can suppress those windows. There's also contact to the left of that building at Echo 684. Alright, copy that, Matt. Alpha, go ahead and start moving across the railroad tracks to where uh, Utopian is. Over. Copy that. Squad 1, go ahead and have your MTLB move up into its position, Echo 5-5. Five five. Copy, moving. Looks like Bartok and his uh, merry men are pulling out of the four story and pulling back, or at least trying to find a different position. They can get another shot off. Uh, and it does look like the US forces may or may not spot 
this uh, railroad track crew coming up towards them sooner or later. They've got Bot Richard down there. The Russian forces are busy uh, shooting at the empty building now. Uh, we will take a look at how the U.S. forces have themselves set up in their neighborhood. And honestly, with the amount of players they've got right now, it's not too shabby. Uh, looks like they're pretty much set up. If the Russian forces come from any direction, they can pull off of one side slightly to reinforce. I doubt... Lawn Darts is going to do that, at least not until it gets dire on one of the fronts. Got to keep that 360 going. Alright, that's it. My squad's squad making their way across now. Squad 1, your MTLB is not going yeah, in the right direction. Down. Yeah, I know. I'm asking them. I want to find out why, too. All right, copy that. Two, can you have your MTLB move into that position on the northwest side? Copy. Where specifically on the northwest side? I wasn't paying attention to when you ordered one. Uh, the arrow. The red arrow position. So they can watch the road to the west, the railroad tracks to the southwest, and the village to the southwest. Copy that. Ooh, MTLB is in position. That's not good. Go ahead and start suppress a fire and begin the assault. Copy. I'm pretty sure Bartok is currently MTLB lining up a shot. Sightings of enemies at Delta 533. He should be able to get it through that also, uh, tree line. Sightings at Delta 692. And it looks like. One, you're taking shots from your west. North, northeastern. All right, start copy. Yeah. Front for the U.S. side is starting to take pot shots at the uh, Russians. Yeah, she's being moved into position. Start suppressing now. Expert, I believe we have contacts north of the railroads, somewhere in probably I, I Delta Five that. Six. Yeah, copy that. So your MTLB is gonna have to watch that and the village. Copy. Don't think you can actually see the MTL B down there. Plus, it'd probably blow Start up in the tree. Please. Oh, and we have just lost Javi. Javi is down. Or is it Javi? You know what? No one ever gave me a straight answer on that one. One, we're probably going to need your MTLB up here. My MTLB Copy. can't cover everything. Copy. Three. Move your MTLB to that position where I'm at. And another lat shot from a fantastic yeah, distance. I have no idea if that was lawn darts or not. Or not lawn darts. I keep saying lawn darts, but that uh, probably was Bartok. He's reloading. Fantastic ad advisory Pressing message. Um, if you do advertise to drive one of our vehicles during one of our ops, uh, Command, please, to please do here, attempt to follow to sh uh, us up. directions. The guys west of my MTLB, somewhere in Delta 5 6. If anything, we're going to need an MTLB moving up just to watch that along the train tracks. That's Utopians. You 
The MTLB number one needs to be watching that down the railroad tracks to the northwest. Copy. All three MTLBs need to And that's firing. another God, MTLB is shot. They don't need targets, I need suppression. Stepping off. Yep, we're moving. I need I need MTLBs talking right now. If I don't hear MTLB fire, we are in trouble. Talk those guns, please. One, two, and threes MTLB we should be firing. I don't care on what, they need to be suppressing. Copy. Three, whatever that's hitting that northern MTLB, go ahead and sort it out. And Utopian is gone. One is down. Move up to its position. Never mind, I'm gonna get inside and yell at him. Well, looks like I got some audio bug. That is definitely shooting, but I ain't getting no gunshots. TLB has taken pretty much four lats is finally out of game. Yeah, they pretty much are. There's a lot of there is a lot of miscommunication and just general not a lot of cohesion right now between the uh, Russian side and its members. Pick up the suppression, please. Hey, I, I see.
cross. Squad one, if you still have comms, have your guys cross over too. Empty of these need to need to empty their cans into this village from different angles. Matt, go ahead and cross over when you're when you're ready. But leave a fire team Copy. or something on the north side. Some kind of AR set up in the Delta 696 bar, far east side of the village. And that's Schmitty and Clayton down by Hershey, leaving King on his own. like Cashling Slasher taken out by not sure what, but he did manage to take out Basket of Puppies and someone else. Let's hold the assault until we get more people up here. The U.S. seems to be moving to the southwest of the railroad tracks. We have AR store at east. TLBs move up. We need cover down the southern road. Watch our left. Come up on this ridge that we're on. We're gonna move up. Yeah, move in. Let's go. Squad three, have your MTLB stay high on the north side. Squad one, move your MTLB up, please. Okay. Does anybody up from squad one have comms? Yes, it is a a defender versus attacker type deal here. The Russians are the attackers and the US are the defenders. I'll run and tell the MTLB. Thanks, Matt. Hey, Yeats, tell your squad just to stick with two with the clearing, okay? Copy that. Oh, Fuck me! That's scary. That land. Yeah. Where do you want one MTLB? Just pushing with the platoon. Well, that was close. I need one to move its MTLB to watch this southern road tracks. This open road. The U.S. is moving from the east to the west across it. And Alpha Guido taken out by I'm not even sure they what. Just need to move up into the other grid. Hershey taken out by No Mercy and Coops. MTLB is definitely suppressing Polish Urban Decrum over here. Giving No Mercy and Coops some time to push in. No Mercy pushing way ahead. Like Deckard just got taken out by the MTLB. And that is a hat to the MTLB number two. I do believe that is leaving us with only one MTLB. Uh, no, this is not the end of round one. I mean, yes, we will be closing to the end of round one, but uh, no, we're not to the end yet.
I'm not sure where they were sending that one. Go ahead and have your MTL be bounce up a little bit to cover two north and west. And Basically, we're, we're in door to door comms now. Let's keep pushing door to door. And Penny D taken out. Looks like either right, by Bot Richard or DJ so Russ. From position, it looks like Bot Richard got him. We'll need the rest of your bodies in here to go door to door. King to trying to push up on Polish here. King taking out Polish here. Russian forces have pretty much been put through a meat grinder here. And uh, it's showing. Can you get your MLB in any position to be able to just be watching to our direct west? Direct west? I mean, he's trying to, to get our position. He, he lost yeah. his engine. And we've just lost X bit. So command down for the Russian side. Touch you, King. I'm coming to touch you. Oh, I would love that. Matt, if you want frags, come get them. Well, I don't want to buy this. Ten. <laughs> ten Fucking shit! Time. That went right over my head. Let's advance south as you can. In the building. In the building. In Let's this do. building. Pretty sure that is a uh, accidental TK. U.S. forces have pretty much abandoned that building at this point.
And Nightmare just providing hell from downrange. Welcome, sir. Yep, this is all that's left of the Russian team. They must continue to uh, push until there's no one left. As you can tell, the U.S. forces have pretty much pinned down where they all are. And are just reinforcing that section of the town or uh, neighborhood. And we've got Bartok coming up on the side here. He's gotten tired of waiting. And maybe his downfall. We got 6 1 over here. One by the tree tracks. Yeah, there's two over there. And it looks like CG Fu, Zaki, and oh God, Dawson have just managed to take out. Not sure who that was, but they're gone. Fat Hunter and the Cheese Man trying to crawl through the field over here. They don't know we're here. They don't know we're here. Chief and 61 taken out by a nade, finally. From what position? I have no idea. But we're left with 2D Root, Matt Honcho, and the Cheese Man. Zaki's been taken out. And it looks like the Cheese Man has finally fallen prey to the bullets. And Matt Honcho has also taken. A shot, and Tootie Root is now on his own. I don't approve of this. Ah. Ah. Surely you jest. I am not the last one. Surely you jest. Oh boy. What do I ever do with Y'all are looking at you nerds. And it looks like CG Fu, Dawson, and Elusive are coming in. Dawson just saw it, and Tudori taken out. And that's GG for round one. We'll be back shortly for round two of Operation Violent Valentine. All right then. Well, we are back for round two of Operation Violent Valentine. And uh, round one did not go so hot for the Russian side. I'm not going to lie. That was not good. <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's go over the round commands and SLs for two, round two. Uh, it's going to be a team flip. So for the Russian side, it's going to be command with lawn darts, two IC being DJ Russ, two other SLs being Beef and Jackie, or Zaki, not Jackie, that is not J, that's a Z. Uh, for the US side, we have XBit being command with his two IC being Utopian, his th two other SLs being Alpha Guido and Matt Honcho. Uh, once more, we're going to do a fast read on the team loadouts for the Russian side. We are currently looking at the diamond loadout, which is okay. Uh, for the diamond loadout, uh, we are looking at squad level, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic, and crewman as needed for the platoon armory. And for vehicles, they have one BTR-80, two Tigger open top cords, and two trans trucks. Uh, let's see here. No support, no fob logistics. 
Uh, moving on to the flower option. For the flower option, we have squad is going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. A platoon armory consists of four RPG 26s, two MMGs, and four engineers. Uh, let's see here. Vehicle option for the flower crew is nothing. Nothing. They get none. Uh, and then none for everything else. Moving on to the last option they will have, which is the candy option. Uh, arguably probably the more interesting one if used properly. It's uh, squads, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, two LATs, one medic platoon armory is two RPG 26s, two engineers, vehicles. We have three MTLB NSVTs and one trans truck. Uh, with the loadouts for the Russians out of the way, we'll now go over the short but sweet U.S. loadout. Uh, for the U.S. side, we are looking at squads. going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. Cupid arrow option will provide them with the platoon army of four lats, two hats. And the broken hearts option will provide them with a platoon army of four engineers, four lats, two riflemen with ammo bags, and two MMGs. And of course, both options get the fob logistics for the radio fob and sandbags and the neighborhood. With that out of the way, I will now bring you all in. We can listen to, uh, well, command do their things for the uh, Russian side. We'll be listening to Londarts and his crew. All right, guys, well done last round. Excellent defense of uh, the village in Delta 6-8. Uh, this round we must assault it. There's a, uh, an American force that's uh, in there spreading their propaganda and lies to the local population. We need to get in there and put a stop to it. Uh, we've left all our uh, vehicles back at the uh, mechanic repair we're just going to do this uh, as infantry and with one smoke mortar we're going to head off in mm -hmm. formation with squad uh, is it two yeah dj squad will be uh, on point traveling in a file um on the red marker that i'm putting down now that leads away from our current location once down there he's going to turn and head up on the next red marker and pretty much the whole way up to where i've got those uh, mine markers placed in the delta seven and delta six uh grid Behind him, uh, we're going to have uh, the remaining two squads in, as a column. So it'll be beef squad uh, north side of that column. Zach is on the south, so two files travelling behind DJ squad. Try and travel fairly tight together. Uh, I expect us to take fire, but we're going to be uh, in superior numbers, superior fire, superiority. Lots of superiorness going on, so I, I've already told the squad leaders I don't want to hear you getting shot at. I want to hear is you guys shooting back at whoever's shooting at you, uh, keeping momentum going forward. I'm going to start, dro start dropping smoke mortars, probably around, let me put a marker you guys can see, the helmet mark's going down, if you get any contact. If you don't get any contact there, we'll be proceeding up where each of the squads have the move marks. Uh, squad 2 is going to be on the west flank where the tank marker is, Zachy's going up the guts on the BTR marker, and Beast's going to be on the helicopter marker. Uh, I'm then going to pepper the uh, smoke mortars on that road due north of you, uh, which is again, I'm going to put down some helmets so you can see where I'm talking about and everywhere north of that and the objective for you guys to cross. All right, so you'll be doing that by having, you know, buddy pairs, fire teams, suppression, other guys moving down and across the road, rinse and repeat. Get a foothold on the south side of the objective. All right, make sure your space is good, and then it's really up to you, uh, fire teams and squad leaders to continue to push north. I'll try and support where I can with smoke, but really once you're into the village, it's just going to be a case of uh, trying to locate where their radio position is and clear all the Russians out around it and in the general area of the village. Any questions? All right, so just to repeat the key thing, I expect us to probably take contact where all your move marks are. Uh, we're just going to have to uh, sort that contact and keep on moving to the north. All right, so if you're getting shot at, best solution is have somebody shoot back and make sure somebody's moving and then just rinse and repeat. Be aggressive. All right, guys, have fun. Squad leaders, let's get ready for live. We're going to start within uh, pretty much this distance of the radio, so we should be able to get set up here. If DJ, you can get your squad uh, set up, and squad three and four, if you can get set up just behind him in the formation we're going to be leaving in. See ya. And we are live for round two of Operation Violent Valentine. If you want us to go in front of you, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get bopped. I'm on, I don't want to get shot in the head, and you. Okay, hey, command. I was thinking. 
Pick it up, blue. Just trying to leave Little son of a bitch. Sorry, Zachy said. It says the guy is with my squad. Get the hell out yeah, of so. here. <laughs> uh, that's it. No, I mean, like, command the way out. I'll just right out. in your face. I'll get everybody to crowd you then. That's how it's going to go down. <laughs> You're like, if, you know, if, uh, bus, if, if when his SWAT can stop his a foothold there, if his SWAT can swing to the wide side of the enemy flank, and when we're going to take his previous position, so that when we push toward the enemy, we're going to have more cover than just a. Uh, cover is going to be my glorious smoke rounds and your uh, your lead. <laughs> and hopefully, yes, uh, if we make that foothold, push can uh, flank around to the east there. But uh, Thank let's you. not get in front of ourselves. Yep. And that is an unfortunate so ND. These to a minimum because element of surprise, uh, as long as we can hang on to it, will be advantageous. Two, we have entered a halfway point. I'm not sure if they gave the the uh, position away. Uh, NDs can go and be shot on either team, and it just it happens. It doesn't look like the U.S. side has uh, utilized that uh, ND if they even heard it. They're probably questioning all around their ranks, but uh, from what I could tell from round one, uh, they're probably expecting no one to actually fess up to an ND. Smoke, smoke starts landing. Uh, start uh, pushing out to the north, northwest. I'm going to continue the smokes east for squads three and four across. It is right there. We're almost in position. Squad three. Yeah, I'm going to push. Three, uh, we'll two, one. one. And here comes some uh, mortar rounds. the fight begin. Londards is not one to pull his punches. He just goes straight in for the kill. And we're off to a strong start for the uh, Russian side. We get the first kill. Looks like Tardo Gamer has been taken out by Hershey, possibly. And we have just lost uh, Hashling Slasher. Downside is the Russian forces are going to have some U.S. forces on their tail here from the west-southwest. It's like Nightmare and Audacity are currently dealing with that. Nightmare taking out King. got a uh, big Loki leaving Chavi still up there he's got nobody I don't think he realizes it beef coming in 
Beef missing all of his shots, finally takes out Chavi, almost not making it. CG Fu's been taken out, not sure by what. Russian forces round two are definitely not pulling their punches, going straight in for that kill. Not stopping the move. Got Audacity and uh, Nightmare over here holding the Western front off so they don't get rounded. Still gonna happen though. It looks like they've got a U.S. crew going all the way around the south side. No audio on a radio. We have contact down. And Blue Jericho takes out Utopian. Ooh, Tater Tot taken out by Petardo Gamer, coming up the staircase. It's one of those dirty positions people need to remember though, it's a wooden floor. You can shoot through the ceiling. And we're gonna, oh, that's not gonna end well. Bye bye, Petardo Gamer. No! Utilizing the uh, walls. Missed the shot, Apex 69er got up. Beef, beef again. Stayed alive. Oh, trade with Apex 69er takes out Potato Gamer, but Potato Gamer also gets take, taken out. Wow, words. Colossus. Uh, I'm not sure what got him. Possibly a shot from Matt Honcho across the way. Command to enemy contact southwest, west. Regroup, repositioning. Roger, if you can lift the cup and then that road, you know, for the... Understood. Hold what you got. Uh, try and clear it out. Try and identify where they're falling back to and push it. That'll be the radio. Polish herb taken out. Looks like two roots got him. Now we've got lats being fired at close quarters. Dangerous combination. Nice. I got one more. Oh, good name. Mm, yeah. Not quite close enough. If it was rolled back a bit more, might have gotten Command quantum. Two. Yeah, go ahead. Go. No, you go ahead. Uh, the enemy contact that is west has killed my buddy team. I presume they're there. Alright, Roger. Let's get spread out, try and thin them out, and still make progress to the northwest. Copy. Run for that and it looks like that right southern now. U.S. crew is coming up on the Russians' rear. They got a beat on my window. Cover you, Doc. You got a 50 50 chance for pinning the uh, wood wall. I'm not sure how pen works uh, for going through another to four. Uh, material. Commands to, there's and Hershey, it looks like he the got the unlucky side of a grenade going right, off in his face. Zaki, how's the situation where you are? Yeah, we're taking heavy contact from the west side. Oh crap, I got rushed to the mine off. FYI, Russians to yeah. coming at Shizaki from the train tracks. Londar's coming back in from the rear. We cleared the building where we at, but we're still having Jackie, meeting very heavy contact. You. Yeah, you got Russians coming at you from your southeast among other directions. Uh, train tracks between you and I. Copy. Hey, friendly over here, by the way. Dawson, do you want to move to squad lead? Yeah, like and to. here come the U.S. forces trying to crush what's left of the Russians. The Americans, my bad. The Russians. Hey, I'm by myself right now. I'm just gonna hold.
Yep, confirm enemy direct east. Close. Roger, I killed, I killed two to my northwest, your southeast. I think the rest of the Long took uh, out, element. no mercy. He's Jewish. Yeah. DJ Russ is in some dangerous water right now. He's got three, four, five US soldiers on him, or at least close to him. Whatever's left of the Russian forces other than Londarts. And it looks like Londarts has been taken out. And it might have been 61 or a Dukin over here on the uh, underside of the trains. They had a nice strong start, but the U.S. forces outmaneuvered them. Closing from uh, I, I believe command is down. It's just me and you, Zaki. Best chance, spread out, get a room. Looks like you're doing that already. I'm by myself right now. I'm gonna go down any second. And it looks like his prediction might be apt. Quantums. Oh, we've got Zaki providing some cover for uh, DJ Russ over here. They may not see it though. Is two two U.S. been taken out? Zaki is definitely taking a hit here by giving away his position. Got some smoke trying to blind him. And check sixty-five. Looks like a one tap. Yep, yep, yep. Not Don't sure it. where that came like from. He was here at the window, so that was probably that U.S. man that was out there in the field. Nick of time's gonna try crawling through. Zaki's still watching. And it looks like Basket of Puppies tried to get up on DJ Russ. DJ Russ taken out by Alpha Guido coming off on the southeastern side of the uh Gully there. Uh, Nick of Time does manage to crawl out of the way of Zaki. Dawson is not doing so hot here. He's got coops on him. Can yeah, it looks like Zaki was also taken out. And a Brandon Sixes Slowly. does manage to uh, provide some cover for him. Oh, that's not good. I'm good, I'm good. They're outside my building still. Copy, just cover your door. I'm trying to yeah, watch It looks your like uh, Dukenstein has the, been taken um, out. They're on the northeast side, so on the left side of the building from you. Who do we have left that up? Sense, Gonna right? do a quick check. We've got Dawson yep, yep, from, from and Brandon Sixes. It's only us two. Just call contacts. I'll try to come up there and get I got them. a grenade. I'm going to try to throw a grenade. All right, just if you hear any footsteps, I'll come push for you. Yeah, he's still here. I hear him. Another nade. And that is Cheese Man him, taken out by a nade. It sounded like he fucked him up, maybe. Sure. Hopefully. Oh, he dead as fuck. North. Same cover, same cover, same cover. I got you, I got you. If you push you, I can Cover. Alpha Guido coming up. Alongside Nick of Time. I'm popping smoke from the building. Nick of Time taken out by Dawson. Got some smoke coming in. Reloading real quick. I got one trying to push. I got one trying to push you. I got one. Ooh, Dawson taken out by Alpha Guido. Leaving uh, poor Brandon Sixes over here with a Joe Violence and uh, Heavens coming in on him. Are you alive or you did?
Nade in the bottom floor. Uh, I think that was some slight friendly fire there. I think he accidentally hit Joe Violence. Trying to get it through the doorway. Oh no, Brandon screwed the pooch on that nade toss. And he did make it out of the uh, room, but did get taken out by Joe Violence coming around the corner, and it's a trade. Uh, and that is GG for round two of Operation Violent Valentine. Definitely an interesting end to the uh, game there. Well, let's go over to the calendar now.